As some of you may already know, Frieza had a brother, his name was Cooler. Now, last time I discussed Kreeza, who was Frieza's son, and it only makes sense that I also cover his brother next because, well, his brother has been, well, not must not so much been the focus of the Dragon Ball franchise in the recent years, and hey, even Broly got the attention, and sadly, Cooler, Frieza's brother, never got never got that same love. But yes, regardless, Cooler, let's actually revisit him today because Cooler was actually a very, very interesting character and I'm legit being honest about this because Cooler is a character that is better than Frieza in a lot of ways and it, it, it was just sad that he never got the love that he deserved. But regardless, actually, let's take a best step back now. To get back to it, and at the beginning of at the very beginning of Dragon Ball in Goku's adventure, when Goku is literally sent out as a Saiyan pod to Earth to well destroy planet Earth at, with that mission in mind, and Frieza is actually sort of clueless about this in terms of this movie, anyways. So yeah, Frieza is very clueless that that Goku is sent to the Earth, right? And he actually just lets Goku go instead of, of course, either destroying uh, destroying Goku like the other Saiyans are, well. Putting them, putting him is under his control, like the nine likes of, of course, Vegeta, Nappa, and Raditz. So yeah, Vegeta, or well, unlike Vegeta and the other two Saiyans, Frieza just lets Goku go this time. And Cooler actually sees this, and Cooler is like, Nah, Frieza's stupid for this. And because Cooler thinks that Frieza is stupid for this, he actually does spy, does have spy for Frieza because of his arrogance. And both the boats, both of its both siblings have actually got a strong rivalry now. So, after Cooler sees that Frieza has let, has let Goku go, he actually wonders how deadly this could be as, as this could literally just be King Vegeta himself in that same pod for all Frieza knew and Frieza's carelessness is actually what got the best of him and years later Cooler found out that Frieza had been killed by the hands of the Saiyan. You know who that is, you guessed it, Goku. So yeah, after Cooler finds this out, he actually seeks to seeks out Goku to actually avenge Frieza, sorta, even though he sorta hates Frieza himself because, well, both siblings have a lot of rivalry and even Cooler admits that had Goku not killed Frieza, Cooler himself would have killed Frieza himself. Now it's also worth noting that Cooler is actually more powerful than Frieza is at this point, and rightfully so. I will actually get into the detail about why that is in a bit, but yeah. Right after Cooler actually seeks out Goku on Earth, he actually arrives with three of his henchmen this time, whose names are of course Nice, Dore, and of course Salza. So yes, Nice, Dore, and Salza are Cooler's henchmen who he arrives with, and when they actually meet up with Goku the first time, Goku actually f mistakes Cooler for Frieza, and when he mistakes Cooler for Frieza, he actually is, well, as you may expect, very riled up and actually initiates battle with Cooler, and once the two actually fight, like I mentioned, Cooler was even stronger than Frieza, and since Cooler naturally, as one would expect, wins against his fight with Goku in the first round, Goku is actually weakened now, and the rest is up to Piccolo and Gohan. Oh, oh, and by the way, interesting detail, Vegeta sadly does not appear in this first movie, of course. And since, since well, Goku is he's still healing up and Cooler is taking on the other characters, and later on, Goku actually charges up with a Super Saiyan transformation, and actually, they actually end up having a round 2, and Cooler finally acknowledges why Frieza, Frieza, his own brother, actually had lost to Goku, and actually even smiles about it, and is actually glad that he actually gets to fight Goku now even though Cooler himself is no much better of a character than Frieza in terms of morality because, well, although Frieza actually is pretty sadistic and actually enjoys the shaking of his opponents, Cooler actually does not do this and actually will just kill his opponents directly. And although it should be kept in mind that Cooler himself is still a very cold-blooded killer as he will literally kill women, children, and entire civilizations without any second thought. But yes, Cooler actually finally acknowledges Goku's strength, and once he acknowledges Goku's strength, he actually battles him off. And this time, he actually, in a final desperate attempt, he actually launches a Cooler Supernova attack on to Goku. But of course, Goku still wins at the end. And once Cooler dies here, his story is actually not even ended, as years later, what happens next is that it turns out that Cooler's remains had actually survived and it had merged into the, into the star of Getty. Or well, get however you may want to pronounce that because well the sub and dub have different pronunciations for that word. But yes, once the coolers 
blood cells are merged with this this star well once they are merged cooler actually becomes another character who is of course known as metal cooler or meta cooler whatever you want to call him as well in that regard but yes metal cooler however is not the same character as cooler himself and cooler himself and i actually would argue that this requires an, a separate video on his own because metal cooler and cooler are different characters actually even though they may both just be cooler so yes, Metal Cooler, unlike, of course, so the, <laughs> unlike Metal Frieza and King Cold, right, since Metal Frieza was just Frieza with the scraps of metal onto him, Metal Cooler is a proper reincarnation or so of Cooler. So, this time Cooler can actually regenerate himself and that's what actually makes him difficult. So, years later, since Cooler's defeat on Earth, Dende actually, Dende and his fellow Namekians have established a new planet dynamic and they actually call Goku and his friends over because, well, they are literally good, great friends at this point and since they call him over, they actually have called him over because there is a threat on planet dynamic that they want Goku and friends to investigate and once they get there actually, they actually soon learn that it was Cooler there all along and Cooler has returned as of course Metal Cooler, this time he looks very very cool. Like his name checks out actually, which is very funny, but yeah, Cooler is very very much so cooler now and actually has a metal form that actually in my personal opinion is pretty great. So yes, Metal Cooler actually fights Goku again and Goku finds out how strong Cooler is and this time Goku learns that he cannot take Cooler on himself. And just as that happens, surprisingly our hero arrives and of course Vegeta joins the battle and since Vegeta and Goku actually now fight Cooler together they actually stand a better chance and after enough difficulty the both actually manage to defeat Cooler at last and after they defeat Cooler only his head is remaining with of course a nasty grin and of course one eyed close and of course Goku finally finished that finishes that off too and of course the movie ends and we get a more happy ending and th around that but later on in the fillers and of course Dragon Ball GT Cooler has also been seen multiple times in Hell and also in Super Dragon Ball Heroes we actually see Golden Cooler now since Cooler is in his golden form now he is actually well very strong now and arguably even more stronger than Frieza in his golden form you know why because Cooler has actually ascended from his fourth transformation to golden Unlike, the, unlike, of course, Frieza, who went from his third transformation to, of course, Golden, and actually skipped that transformation. So yeah, that's why actually Cooler is a lot stronger than Frieza in general. Except for, of course, how Frieza is now currently in Dragon Ball, but hey, even that could change. But regardless, that's who Cooler is, and, of course, Metal Cooler is someone who, I'm, who I might discuss later on. But regardless, Cooler, very great character, and I personally do think that you should check the two Cooler movies out. And I actually also want to know, do you guys think that Cooler should have been should be made canon? Because I do actually, and I definitely would prefer Cooler over Broly. But hey, to each their own. Let me down. Let me know in the comments down below. Yeah, bye.